There is seriously nothing better than winter sun. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Ba, 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 ba. <sighs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This video is super exciting because I'm doing my first DIY. To be quite honest, I'm quite shocked that I've never done a DIY on this channel before because as a control freak, I don't trust anyone else to do things. So today we're gonna to be doing something ourselves, which is brightening up our bedroom, or well, my bedroom. We don't have a bedroom. I mean, it might be fun, but you know, not today. As I said, a bit shocked I haven't done a DIY before, but I'm planning, hello. We are going to be redoing my bedside tables. It's not really conventional. So just free up that mental space which says that furniture must look a certain way. Put all those biases to bed. This furniture is going to be a little bit different. You who says furniture all has to be white and the same shape? You know what I actually love so much? Like dining chairs that don't match. Currently I've got a dining table from Ikea and about two square meters in which to put it. So that's not a possibility for me. But if you live in like an old barn house vibe, country vibe, and you've got like mismatching chairs, I love you. Would you consider lounge room sharing options? Asking for a friend? Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. I got the inspiration to do this project about a week ago when I decided to rearrange and reorganize and just give myself a mid-year reset. If you wanna see that video and if you need motivation to organize your space, click the link in the video or in the description below. But as I was tidying up our bedroom, I noticed that the drawers were looking a little bit worse for wear. We got these drawers from Freedom Furniture about three or four months ago. Bear in mind, we only use these drawers for a few minutes per day. You, know, you put something down or you take something from it. And in that time, the paint on the top of the drawers had gotten really scratched. And as much as I loved these drawers, it was just really bugging me. Not to mention the fact that I also accidentally spilled some nail polish remover on the top of my drawer. So the paint was actually peeling off, which <laughs> wasn't a good sign. But rather than just repainting them white, I thought I would do something a little bit more interesting because we don't have elaborate bedroom decorations as much as I'd like some pillows. It's just not that practical and trying to be more minimalistic in my approach to furnishing my home and in my life in general. I didn't want a lot of unnecessary bedroom decor. Also, we just don't have the space because we live in a 60 square meter granny flat. So being space saving is a real priority. But given the color scheme of the room, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna bring that color scheme into my furniture. And this is something I would totally recommend to people who are short on space. You know, don't wanna have unnecessary pillows or unnecessary knickknacks or trinkets in the house. You can repaint, you know, you can repaint a surface of furniture, bring some color to it, repaint the back of a door or something. This isn't like your typical DIY with step-by-step -step instructions. This is more of a video to give you permission to recreate something in your home. It's like a haircut, right? If you get a bad haircut, you can just grow it out. If you paint something and you don't love it, you can just repaint it, like it's not a big deal. So that's what I did. I decided to paint the top of these bedside tables. And luckily, I'm an artist, so I've got a lot of paint. I actually use the house paint from our walls. I've kept some jars of that lying around in case we ever get like a hole in the wall or need to patch something up. Now going into this project, there were a couple of artist inspirations that I was keeping in the back of my mind. One is Bonnie Gray, and I really love her sort of childlike approach to art. And also another artist called Tani Kelland. But to attempt this style, I basically got a bunch of smaller brushes and just started painting in some neutral, neutral kind of colors. I had a yellow, I had a green, and I had a pink, but they were all muted tones. And I wanted to make this artwork personal. I wanted to bring in some symbolism and some characters that meant something to Josh and I. So painted on his bedside table are things like his family, watches because he's a watchmaker as a profession, some musical symbolism, some food because hey, we both love food. <laughs> also some Christian symbolism because we are both practicing and passionate Christians. And then on mine as well, I had like my cats, I had my family, I had some art symbolism some plants because I'm really into plants right now. Just different things like that that mean something to both of us. And of course this can change. And if it does, I'm gonna repaint it. So, huh, yeah, that's kind of the genius of it because it's totally changeable. Then once I painted all of the base coat, and again, this was a really organic approach. I didn't worry about mixing colors. I didn't worry about it being messy. I wanted it to be that way. 
So once that was dry, I went over the top of it in another white undercoat, um, not a glossy paint at all. This was a matte white color. And once I painted that, I sort of wiped it back with a cloth to reveal the colors underneath. So that was just to bring back the already muted tones of the, of the colors, just to make it a little bit more subtle and a little bit more elegant. And then I waited for that to dry and then it was pretty much done. I went over the top of it with a glossy coat of varnish, actually two coats of varnish, because I didn't want this to scratch off as easily as the paint had already scratched off. So, so far so good. It's been about two weeks and we still have the tops of our drawers and it still looks lovely. And it matches all of the decorations so well and the bed covers and everything so well in our room and I'm really happy about it. And I was so relieved as well because when Josh came home and saw the furniture, he was over the moon, like he loved it. But if you want to bring some more color or some more character into your home, you could paint the top of your bedside tables in a block color if you wanted to or paint the side of a bookcase. But I really encourage you if you're if you're thinking about redoing your space, rather than going out and buying more unnecessary stuff that you're probably going to donate or put in the bin in months or years time, paint something. I, I think it's an awesome thing to do and definitely brings out your creative side and it's something you can be proud of. That's, that's mine, that's got my signature on it. And there's, yeah, that's just something really rewarding to me. I really hope you enjoyed that DIY and that it inspired you to make something of your own, maybe to zhuzh up some other furniture that exists in your house. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button for more videos about art, productivity, DIYs, faith, and all of that good, juicy life betterment stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you and God loves you infinitely and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.